Hey guys, this vlog is starting off a little different. Amani and I are at Lowe's getting the stuff that we need for our projects. Um, of course, someone's with me because, of course, you know, they are making me have a babysitter. <laughs> so she is here and she is picking up the lumber for me. Um, and we're just getting a cart. I was, of course, trying to grab it. Look at her looking at me. <laughs> So yeah, so we're just walking all of the aisles, getting the project, I mean, the, the lumber that we need for multiple projects here. I'm checking my list, double checking to make sure I have everything. She's probably over me by now. <laughs> then I'm back at the shop. I am making the cuts that I need for um, the pieces of the wood that I'll be using for the chase. I am using my circular saw for most of the project. I did have two pieces of the wood cut at the store, the longer pieces for the uh, side pieces of the project. I'm just checking my measurements here. I'm using two by sixes here and they're going to be 39 inches long. Right here, you see me using my um, Craig to make pocket holes. I also have an impact uh, driver. It's a um, different type of a screwdriver, electric screwdriver. It actually is very, very um, powerful. I absolutely love it. It's um, It was actually on sale as a craftsman, and it's so much more powerful, powerful than our regular drill, but... I absolutely love it. If you ever in a market for buying one, an impact is amazing. Right here, you just see me um, basically make putting in supports so that I can um, mount the bed uh, topping to those. And then I'll drill the top of the bed, or not bed, the chase to those. So I'm just basically putting in supports. And those are going to be the side railings. So good morning. It is day two. Um, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm about two hours post time that I plan to start. I had a few technical issues this morning. Basically, I was just disorganized and just not in a rush, but I'm still not in a rush. But as you can see, I have moved to the bedroom because this is a pretty large item that I'm building and I did not want to have to try to carry it up the stairs. So I will be doing my cuts in the garage and assembling everything in the bedroom. So let's just go ahead and get started. All right. So what you see me doing here is adding netting as well as fabric to the wood pieces. I am using an electric stapler 
Um, it also uh, can use brad nails, but I'm just using the staplers um, inside of it. I decided to go ahead and add my fabric before I put it together, which some um it was a little bit of a challenge kind of um, drilling it in the end to put it together in certain places, but it did end up working out, which um I may do different in the future if I was to build this again, but it did end up working out so. This is just the side pieces that I'm doing the same thing to. The first pieces were the end pieces, and now these are the two side pieces that I'm adding uh, the batting and the, um, the fabric to. You'll hear me interchange the word netting and batting, but it's batting, I believe. So now I'm just kind of putting the... Um, pieces together. I'm using my pocket uh, screws, which is Craig tools um, to make the uh, bottom piece of the chase lounge. I'm concentrating. Can't you see me? I'm real focused. All right, so I received this from Flexpedic. It is a, uh, a two inch mattress topper, but it's a twin size. I do not have a twin size mattress in my home. So when I spoke with them, I told them that I would be using this for a different project and they were perfectly fine with that. So um, I've been waiting to use this. So what I'm doing now is just kind of rolling it out to let it inflate completely. As you see, I am screwing in uh, a support system, a support piece for the middle of the bed while the mattress inflates. Not the bed, it's the chase. I keep calling it a bed, it's a chase. It's a support piece for the middle. Now I'm back in the shop, AKA my garage. I am, um, cutting the boards for the um, support for the mattress as well as the supports for the headboard as well as the arm board. So here, I'm basically just uh, laying them out. It ended up being 75 by 39. Um, I'm gluing it with wood glue, and then I'm adding in brackets to hold it all together. Now I'm adding on my mattress topper mattress toppers. I have two of them. So it ended up being four inches thick versus the two. And then I'm also cutting off the straps because I didn't need those. And they were kind of making it bulky on the ends. I'm adding in some netting to cover it up.
just trimming it to the right length and um, that I need. And now I'm adding my fabric. I'm going to also add in those um, brackets on the back. You're not going to see me do it, but I do add in brackets back in the back as well once I staple this on there. And then I'm going to move the mattress onto it's over on the floor my nephew came and helped me and then he flipped the whole thing so now what i'm doing is drilling it and securing it so right here i'm actually um making the headboard as well as the arm board i have um, foam cushions as well as the netting and then i'm stapling the fabric on there nice and tight I went through a lot of staples, a lot. So I was constantly refilling. Okay, so now you see me just kind of um, putting all the pieces together. And then once I kind of got everything in place and um, all nice and tight, my nephews did have to come and help me to make sure I can and to, to like lift it as well as so that I can put the feet on it as well as hold it so I can drill it and make sure that it was nice and firm. Hey guys, um, so as you see, I am sitting here on the chase. I am, um, I feel like I haven't talked to you all much in this video. I just kind of did a voiceover, um, just a little something different, trying to show you more of the process versus me just kind of popping in and telling you um, what I've done and where I'm at in the process. Hope you like this video. You let me know in the comments whether or not you like it this way versus um, the way I've been doing it. Um, and then I'll accommodate either way. Um, in the words of my friend Brittany from this Georgia Clay, this was a labor of love. <laughs> um, there was some moments, probably about 75% through that I was just like, <laughs> Yeah, I'm done with this, but I'm glad that I stuck it through. I'm glad that I saw it all the way through. I'm glad my nephews came over when the, the lifting got heavy because, of course, I could not do it alone. As I stated earlier in the video that I, I wanted to um, build most of it in, in the bedroom because I know that it was going to get heavy, which it did. And I was thankful for them because they were able to flip it here and there so that I could, you know, drill the nails in to make sure that it was nice and um, nice and sturdy. But it is so comfortable with these 
Flexpedic um, mattress toppers. <laughs> I cannot wait to be start enjoying this space. Um, I have one more area of the uh, of the master bedroom to complete, which is my dresser and TV area. I wanted to get it done before vacation, which I may or may not, um, because the dresser will be here next weekend from my rental home. And all I plan to do is just refurbish it and then mount one of the TVs that's also at that house. So, um, yeah, so let me know in the comments what you think of my chase. Uh, we did decide, since this is a twin size mattress topper, it is large enough for two people. I did also include um, some inspo pictures. Matter of fact, did I? If I didn't, let me do that now. Because when I had originally um, decided that I wanted this area to have a chase, when we like first bought this house, I started looking at them and I always wanted it to be a space that Dante and I can enjoy together when we're watching a movie. So I always wanted a double size chase. Party Barn was like almost 2,800. I'll tell you all, of course, how much I ended up spending in the description box for everything, but it was nowhere near 2,800. <laughs> And I would have had to wait probably six or so months for Pottery Barn or whoever to send me one. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoy my vlog and I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye.